Hi, everybody. Welcome to our Facebook Live. I'm Eleanor. Um, and today we are joined once again by Chef Meg. So thank you so much for coming back to join us today. We're super excited to have you. Hi, Eleanor and moms. Thank you so much for having me back. It's always a great time. Thank you. So Chef Meg is going to be talking to us more about Chell and Fresh Sweet Cherries today. She's a food photographer, recipe developer extraordinaire who has an extensive background in the food industry. So she's going to share a little bit more about kind of what you can do with cherries, the best ways to freeze them, that sort of stuff, and sharing some recipes. So we're super excited to hear from you, Meg. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. So, all right. So cherries, it's summer. So it is anywhere here, it's 95 degrees today. If anybody's on the West Coast, it's pretty hot over here. And so I wanna tell you a little bit about cherries. Um, we live in orchard country, as you know, but cherries are grown here in central Washington by third and fourth generation farmers. And I can tell you that all of our farmers are very uh, passionate about the fruit that they grow, but cherries are just a little bit more special. So there are some very well taken care of cherries around here uh, and they're wonderful and they're beautiful, juicy and plump. So, yeah. um, and they're Chelan fresh cherries. So hopefully you'll be able to see them in some markets and uh, they're quintessential summer fruit. I mean, cherry pie on 4th of July, that is a symbol of summer, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. I mean, cherry pie. So there's so many fabulous things to do with cherries. And we'll talk about that later. But it's a very fleeting season. So you have to get your cherries and put them in everything and enjoy them for the beginning of the summer. Yeah, I'm super excited to learn more. Um, I do want to share that there is a giveaway today. Um, we always like to give away prizes. So Chell and Fresh is going to be giving three lucky winners a Sweet Cherries prize pack. So you definitely want to be commenting, liking, sharing this video for your chance to win. Um, and if you just want to comment uh, in the comment, leave a comment for us and let us know if you've ever had fresh cherries before. And if you have, were they sweet cherries? Were they not? Um, and we'll announce winners on Monday. So uh, let's jump right in then, I guess. Um, so I guess you can kind of tell us a little bit more about cherries and we can dive right into cooking and all of that kind of stuff. Okay. So first we need to talk about why cherries are so healthy for you. And I should call them sweet cherries. We're used to just saying cherries here, but they're really technically sweet cherries. Uh, mm -hmm. So they're not tart cherries and they're different from other kinds of cherries. So. Um, so there, I have my little list here. So they're super good for you in terms of, see, they have fiber and there's only 60 calories in one cup of cherries. So just wow. know that every cherry has a pit, just like a peach. So yes. <laughs> we'll talk later about how to get those out. Yeah, you don't want to bite into them. <laughs> well, some people do, and then you spit them out because there's, yeah. there's contests around that. So that's another picnic idea, right? <laughs> So we, they have anti-inflammatory properties. So it's very good for people with arthritis or joint issues to eat some cherries. They have a lot of potassium and vitamin C. But here's something interesting. They are loaded with melatonin. So melatonin helps you kind of regulate your sleep. And that's an interesting thing. You'll see a lot of, sometimes they have cherry concentrate vitamins. So you might as well just grab some fresh cherries. They're a lot better for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, and let's see, we talked about, oh yeah, they're really, really good for, they say anti-inflammatory and an antioxidants. So a lot of anti-issues there. So, yeah, no, that's awesome. The melatonin thing is so interesting to think mm -hmm. about snacking on the cherries before bed kind of thing and getting all that good stuff in. I was going to say, I could eat a lot of cherries if I had the opportunity <laughs> to, Since, and yeah. I mean, they're so healthy for you. So I don't yeah. know. I could <laughs> yeah, but they're also very high in magnesium. Mm -hmm. So uh, just a little warning to moms, because of the fiber and the magnesium, you can, if you eat too many, you can get something what is what we call cherry belly, which basically is diarrhea. So if you have kids eating lots of cherries, you might want to stop them. A cup is about enough or maybe less for okay. a kid. So, you know, you don't want to have any. That's really good to know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> with any fruit you know there's a lot of fiber but they're very high in magnesium which mm -hmm. is also really great for relaxing your muscles so mm -hmm. magnesium and um, anti-inflammatory and melatonin so a cup of cherries in a day you'll probably sleep pretty well yeah that sounds mm -hmm. like a great option too and I, they taste delicious so you know it's yeah. that's the other added benefit <laughs> and because the season is so short it's so great to just 
get all the cherries you can when you find them and and freeze them and process them. So let's talk a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. And also, just so you know, we have a couple of things on Chelan Fresh's website about how to pit cherries and also about how to freeze cherries. So let's talk about that for a minute. So get your cherries and you want to wash them and then lay them out on a towel to dry. Because if you put them in all wet, they'll get crystals on them. So if you lay them out, pull the stems out so you can freeze them whole if you don't want to pit them first and then put them later. That's an option. I've done that before. But if you want to throw them in smoothies and do different things, you want to pit them first and then freeze them either in a bag or freeze them on a um, a sheet pan and then put once they're frozen because they're separated then once they're frozen you can put them in a bag because that works better to grab just a few more time yeah yeah that's a really good idea yeah um also if i say rinse them first yeah so mm-hmm. rinse and dry them take out the pits and take out these steps so um let's so that's how to freeze them and they work for oh gosh you can do them baked goods smoothies there's so many ways to use cherries and we'll talk a little more a little more about recipes in a minute Mm -hmm. um but let's talk about pitting them so we have five different methods again this is on the chelan fresh website so one is the chopstick method it's a little bit slow you can take a chopstick and just poke the cherry through the bottom and that allows you to have a whole cherry so you might just want that for different kinds of desserts that the next method is called the surgical method. It's kind of fancy, but it's very, it's very similar to the peach pit method. So you just take, take a peri knife. If you want a nice half cherry, take a peri knife and you run it around the, the um, cherry and you kind of twist it like you would a peach. And then you pull out the pit that works, works both ways. Also, if you wanted to just put a little, like an olive, a little pressure on it with the back of a knife it kind of cracks it and then you can open it and pull out the peach okay the pit yeah. <laughs> not the peach there's not a peach in a cherry um, and so my favorite one is the tearing method your hands get a little pink but uh, you just rip them open because it's just rustic and if you're putting them in, in dishes anyway you can chop them that way so mm-hmm. you just tear them open and pull the pit out and it goes a lot faster now some grandmas if you had a grandma that used to make cherry cherry pie a lot they have one of those cherry pitters where you, oh. you, you put a wad of cherries in and it, they work sometimes you do <laughs> need to check but a lot of grandmas have those neat yeah, mm-hmm. I remember um, growing up as a kid, we did the paperclip method. Um, and so, method. yeah, so we would take, oh, of course, I have three older siblings. So my parents would come home with like a bag of cherries and be like, all right, guys, go pit the cherries. And we'd be sitting there with little paper clips, yeah. scooping the pit out because then it doesn't punch a hole in the bottom of the cherry. Yeah, you just right. scoop it right out the top. So that was their favorite way to do it. Although my mom told this hilarious story to me when I mentioned that I was going to be doing this Facebook Live and I needed to share it. Yeah. Um, she was saying that when she was a younger woman um, and she didn't really think about pitting her cherries or anything, she just put them right in the pie. Oh my gosh. And served them with the pits in the cherries after baking it in the pie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she religiously oh. pits the cherries now. She's got to do it as soon as she gets home. <laughs> Who ate the pie? No one. Yeah. <laughs> no one ate the pie, unfortunately. Yeah, I one bite think. And they were like, mm. yeah, I would think that. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> no, no to self, yes. Yeah, pie. always double check. Well, because if you're used to making pies with like a canned thing of cherries, it's already pitted for you. That's right. You don't necessarily really think about it. And that was, yeah, <laughs> you learn real quick. I know. And I know that a lot of people don't get a lot of fresh cherries in their area. Mm-hmm. But when you do see them, load up on them, put them mm-hmm. in the freezer. They're great for smoothies. I mean, really just throw it off the fruit and everything. So. Yeah, it'll probably be a pretty smoothie too. It'll be bright pinkish red. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, and they're great to put in your post-workout smoothies because of all the magnesium to kind of help relax your muscles after you work out. That's smart. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Oh, my gosh. That's so fun. So for anyone who's watching, make sure you head over to chillandfreshcherries.com if you want to learn more about the pitting process um, and freezing and stuff. And there's also going to be some recipes on there, which we're going to talk about in just a minute. Um, but you definitely want to head over. They've got a ton of great information for you guys mm-hmm. to be curious about all things cherries. So, yeah, right. So let's talk about recipes. So we have three that we're highlighting today, but there's so many more on the website. Mm-hmm. Um, and so the first one we have is the sparkling cherry lemonade. Now, this is super duper easy. 
It's not mm. that it's not that difficult. It just adds a little bit of sweetness, cherry flavor, and a little sparkle. So this recipe, again, on the website is super refreshing, lots of fresh mint, and it's a sparkling cherry lemonade. I love it. And you can do that with anything. And might I add, I'm adding an extra recipe. <laughs> so I, I have leftover cherries and I made a cherry shrub. So I don't know if anybody knows what a cherry shrub is, but um, a shrub is what they call it, or otherwise known as in old fashioned days, drinking vinegar. Um, and so a shrub is basically marinated um, fruit, with sugar and then adding some acid like a vinegar and so it's a little bit healthy because you add acid to your diet mm -hmm. i have apple cider vinegar in here and you can add this to a sparkling water lemonade or any kind of cocktail um, i love it it's delicious mm -hmm. and that's that nice does sound amazing well yeah. then you get all the health benefits too if you're using apple cider vinegar you get the apple cider vinegar the cherries oh yeah that'd yeah. be perfect yeah <laughs> so the next recipe we have is the chopped cherry salad with cherry vinaigrette. And so this is a super refreshing salad. Oh, look and at that. Yeah. And um, the vinaigrette has a lovely kind of like a double cherry flavor in there. And the vinaigrette is super bright and refreshing. And cherries are great for salads. And I can say that cherries and feta cheese are so good together. Ooh. So I'm gonna sell that I a couple of years ago I made a quinoa salad with a couple of different things and cherries in it and um the cheese. It's delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. That sounds okay. good. Uh the next one is the cherry chocolate almond ice cream. Oh I know, right? <laughs> that's, that's perfect for summer. Skip the cake. I mean skip the the pie. Go straight to the ice cream. Yeah. And um, that just looks super delicious and beautiful. And so the 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 things that cherry goes really well with is almonds. They're just a perfect match and chocolate. So that's uh, almonds and chocolate make a beautiful cake or ice cream or anything, or muffins. They do really well with muffins too. Wow. Those all sound Amazing. I really want to make that cherry vinaigrette. I actually just recently had a strawberry vinaigrette, which I feel like would have the same kind of like that beautiful bright pink with the cherries. It just looks oh, so nice. Funny. That's yeah. Perfect <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Lots of ways to be creative with cherries. Um, just uh, throw them in any dish you have and use them up because it's fast and furious season and they're healthy and good for you. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I need to go find some cherries and freeze them. The freezing tips, I have to remember you put them on the sheet tray first so that they don't freeze together. That's a really good yeah. tip. <laughs> I want to yeah. reiterate that for our moms too. Yeah. Especially when they're juicy. I mean, you do kind of get a big wad uh, mm -hmm. in, your, in a freezer bag. So yeah, I'd highly recommend spraying that. Perfect. Well, to get the recipes that we just shared and even more recipes, you can head over to challengefreshcherries.com. Um, so much information there. As you can see, we're referencing that again. Mm -hmm. So you can get all of the recipes. You can get all the information about pitting. You can get the information about freezing. And I think there's a bunch of stuff, too, on there if you're looking for more specific like amounts for the nutrition information. Mm -hmm. So definitely head over there if you're interested in trying them out. So yeah. Also, wow. remember that, that there's a couple blog posts about how to pit them and um, how to freeze them. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you'll be able to find all those resources there. Um, and for our moms watching, we want to know what you guys found most interesting today from um, if, whether it be cherries or if you want to talk about it, have you had cherries? Have you not had cherries? We'd love to hear that in the comment section. So keep liking, commenting and sharing for your chance to win. Uh, thank you so much again, Meg, for joining us. This is your third okay. time with us. We'll see if we see you back again I soon. It. It's, so <laughs> yeah. it's a great time. Yeah. So yeah. thank you guys all so much for joining us. Um, we hope you have a great rest of your week and a great weekend. Happy summer. Go out there and eat those cherries and get healthy. Happy summer. Eat cherries. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.